Almost nailed the timing. Almost nailed the timing. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm back. Ah! Um, so, I don't know what I did today, but I definitely pulled a muscle in my back. <laughs> Fucking getting old. Um, so, you have to bear with me with odd movements and faces that I'd be making this evening. And on top of that, I have cell phone right here. I am on call yet again. Um, I got called before, which is why I was starting much later than I wanted to. Um, but it is what it is. So of course, there's the contribution to the raid stream. I, uh, I reset that to 30 days, by the way. So and I figured we'll just keep going until it eventually hits. <laughs> Let's be honest here. Um, so I had a poll in Discord and it was between a few different games um, and Prognostic won like by a lot. <laughs> I think there were nine total votes um, and eight of them went to Prognostic. Um, we played the first I think either 11 or 12 days in the game and that was the end of the game at that point never finished the story it was early access um but the devs finished it uh so we are going to dive back in continue right where we left off which is right after we uh saw that thing in the water with like the weird melty face 46,000 good god <laughs> Yeah, uh, Fry's been doing 2,000 every stream, which is the max. Oh. So, um, this will probably be a shorter stream. I don't know how many chapters are left, but it's also already 11 Eastern. Um, but uh, I'll try to get through as much of this game as possible and obviously have a good time with it too like i've been very 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 much looking forward to playing this game again that's for sure drink the melting face it gives vitamin c the melting face i know what the melting face is anywho we're here so for those who don't remember Prognostic, this game is essentially a detective type game, but using occult rituals while also kind of being hunted in haunted, so to speak. And there's been this overarching story about um, our grandmother, because our, our parents, me and uh, our, our character, and the brother who works in the police, um, our parents were murdered um, and it made it look like it was just some like home ro like a like a robbery situation but it seemed like to be more than that um, this woman takes over the, the grandmother took the two kids in and taught them how to do all this shit and then she's found dead the exact same way from a burglary gone wrong except the, as we went on through the story if i do so recall the detail that the knife wounds that are like in her were like self-inflicted so they think she may have done it herself um <clears throat> but either way there's uh, a lot of crimes we've been resolving are uh, people are saying like yeah we, there was a voice that told us to do it blah blah blah, blah. Also, the trio is streaming. Heavy, Jugger, even Wheeler. Oh, all three of us are on, huh? Oh, I didn't see Wheeler on. Maybe he's about to go on. I don't know. But anywho. So let's see. Let me go to chapter selection really quick. So we were up to day 11. Okay. I, I think I said day 12 before, so we're not far off. But anywho. We're on a bit after you. Oh, oh, okay. I'm just looking over. I don't see his name popping up over there. So it's just Twitch being slow. Anywho, cheers to y'all for being here early. Time to see what Prognostic has in store for us. Oh, God, this game was 
<sighs> Shot next door. Okay. God. Right. All the reading. <clears throat> Tunnel? What does the tunnel have to do with this madness? I'm sorry. Right now, I can't discuss your nightmares. I couldn't get enough sleep myself. Oh, boy. I saw how my boss died yesterday. I stood I stood a step away from him. There was a loud clap and a bullet pierced his chest. An eerie sight to behold. What worse is that we were in our department at Piner Street, the 4th Piner Street. Judging by the trajectory, the shot was fired from the roof of one of the neighboring buildings. To complicate matters further, the boss announced the upcoming layoffs last month. We suspect it could have been one of us. So, I'm pretty sure... Oh, wait, no, someone else got killed in the in the police department. It wasn't the chief. This is different now. Yeah, see, see this is this is a, the next, like, this, something similar happened before. And now it's, like, the same thing. It's someone else has been killed now in the, uh, in the department. So, okay. Objective. We have to send the killer's dossier. Mark had said when the killer was at the hour of the crime, he couldn't be near the target, and send the killer's distinctive feature by performing dousing of the victim, and send the relation to the killer by performing tarot reading. It's going to be tough getting back into all this. So we got Brooks Darville. He was born June 1st, 1863. Uh, he's dead. Obviously, he's the victim. He was killed on November 20th, 1904. Excuse me. Brown hair, blue eyes. Mr. Darwin was my boss. He was a good and honest cop, but an insufferable superior. Half the department hated him, especially at the last month where he threatened everyone with massive layoffs. I mean, that is pretty shitty. Uh, Samson Stevens, January 30th, 1878, was the year he was born. 26 years old. Blonde hair, gray eyes. Uh, he was. He's also dead. First of January, nineteen o five. My colleague, he burst into the police department with a pistol in his hands ten minutes after the shot. He claims that he was in the department during the shooting and ran out to catch the killer. Unfortunately, from him, no one remembers that he was there that morning. Uh, are we sure he's dead? so weird jordan hull born march 5th 1848 he's 56 gray hair blue eyes suspect he's also dead january 1st night so i think this is a a, a bug <laughs> grumpy officer from an from an old times jordan had personal problems with my boss our chief refused to let him go on vacation without giving reason which led to unexpectedly big fight i'm not sure but it looks like he was not in the station when the shot was fired Okay, yeah, so this is this is a, uh, a bug then. Because he's definitely not dead. Patrick Whitney, September 15th, 1880, 24 years old, black hair, black eyes. I thought he got fired a month ago. Today he came to work, claiming that he was only sent on vacation. Looks like he is taking advantage of the commotion in order to return to his job. We didn't have any time to raise the chief's documents and check whether he is hiding his firing or not. Can you check it with runes? <clears throat> George Cook, July 1st, 1877, he's 27 years old, red hair, green eyes. Cook is a recent hire, strange fellow. A few days ago, he asked about me about you, although I didn't remember that I had mentioned you in our talks. You know what? This is weird. I feel like we've done this one before. Like, I thought this was going to be another iteration, but I f this dude sounds super familiar. But hey, whatever. It's, it's good fucking practice. We'll redo this one, I guess. We just, uh, we brighten this up a wee bit. Um, so do, 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 do. Oh, gamma. Apply. All right, this looks much brighter, and it looks much better for you guys as well, it looks like. Okay. I don't remember where any of the rooms are in this house for anything 
I think Terrett's upstairs. Oh, God. Yeah, it's the Juggernaut, bitch! Candy! Oh, thank you so much for the bits, my friend. Oh, there's the tarot cards. I remember this now. Come on. I missed you too, Candy. The devil. Those fucking noises. Oh, it's the death card I have to be worried about. Okay. Justice. All right, it's one more card after justice. That's right. The chariot. The killer is a colleague. Okay. And that was what number? Seven? Got it. Okay. Now, let me go restart the candle. Don't do this to me, though. Please don't. Okay, good. She's working up to it. All right, let's see. <sighs> we did the tarot reading. We need to do dousing and then the other spot, which is in the other direction. I just heard water. Who's uh, the position to stand? Okay, right, 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 right. What the fuck? Oh, shit. I forgot the doors do that. I need to go upstairs. Shit. Shit, it's downstairs. Fuck. It's that bathroom. I got it. I got it. It's okay. Yeah, it's the sugar knock, bitch. Oh, thank you, Candy, for that. Dolly, thank you so much for the uh, for the biddies. That's awfully nice of you. Welcome back. Welcome in, everybody. Um, so we're back doing prognostic because a new update's out. And um, wait, where was it? I had to go upstairs. I'm so dumb. Um, a new update came out. And we are looking to the f fudge. <gasps> oh shit! I don't know what this means. This happened the last time I played, and I don't know what it means. Nothing, I guess. It's just a pillar.
it's the pillow okay that's fair it's a pillow this is a great game it's scary but it's a great game and i and i'm very happy that this update came out so we need to find bed murderer is 29 years old or younger got it okay so we know the killer is a colleague naturally <laughs> 29 years old or younger. Oh, yeah, the tension is real, for sure. <laughs> um, so let's go through and do some things first. Colleagues, I think these are all colleagues. And 29 years old or younger. He's 26, you're still a suspect. Jordan Hull, I couldn't click on. He is no longer a suspect, he's innocent. Patrick Whitney, still a suspect. George Cook, still a suspect. So that eliminates Jordan Hull. So it's either Samson, Patrick, or George. And we still need to determine the locations, which we can do after I go and fix the light. Because my uh, shit's about to go out. Please don't. Oh, bitch. I hate that. I hate it so much. Can we stop the breathing, please? I'm busy. Okay. Shit. Upstairs. Run, you fuck. Oh, shit. It's too late. We just have to be very careful. Got it. And there we go. My phone just lit up. I got really worried there for a second. I was like, no, please. I want to play this game, I swear. Okay, so we're going to put the... So we know where Brooks is. That we already know. We need to figure out where Samson was. And, uh, oh, what's the date of death? 11-20... I don't know the time. Fuck, we have to go do the wheel. Fuck me. I'm also going to reset this. God damn. Damn it all. I suck at this thing, by the way. As some of you may already know. Okay. So we gotta figure out the hour of Brooke's death here. Alright, so Zodiac symbol. It's June 1st. June 1st will be Gemini. Right there. Nice. The wheel. Yeah. All right. And this is the air symbol. So air is the third letter of the name or the first if the name has less than three letters. Third letter. Third letter of the first name. It's an O. Oh. 
Oh wait, I'd look at the table for that. O is a seven. Right here. And then last but not least, if there are more than five letters in the surname, one, two, three, four, five, yep. Then the key letter of the surname is the fifth one. One, two, three, four, five. It's an I. I is a one. Oh, Jesus Christ. So it was, uh, let's make sure this is right. God, I hate that noise. So month was five. No, that couldn't be any more incorrect. <laughs> Shit. What am I doing wrong again? I knew it was that one. I heard it. <laughs> okay. So, turn the wheel to the so that the black arrow points to the right extent of the person. Date of birth was June 1st. June 1st falls within the Gemini symbol. And that's the two. Oh, I missed it by... Oh, no. That's right. Blue arrow, right? Oh, did I do it backwards? I did it backwards. I'm a dummy. Dummy, dummy, dummy. So this should go over to two. And blue should go over to seven. Well, that's different. Okay. Yo, Menti, what's up, man? Welcome in. How you been doing? How them streams been going? Okay, so now I still have it incorrect. It still says the 12th month. Oh, this is going out. I gotta go replace it. Son of a bitch. Yeah, go ahead and do it. All right, she didn't. Wow, I'm actually kind of shocked. Stream's going well. How are you? I'm good. Just got back from vacation a couple days ago. Um, we won't go into it. It was it wasn't great. Yeah, we did that. Turned the wheel to be that. Fucking rats. Third letter of the name or the first. There's a three. It's an O. O is a seven. Oh, I, I had these ones in the right order. It was only the... Okay. Right? And the blue arrow would have been an I, which is a one. Oh. There we go. Okay, so 11th month, yes. 20th, yes. We have it 10 during the day, 10 in the morning. I think that's right. So let's, jeez, fucking dogs. All right, so month is 11. Day is 20. I'm happy to be back for sure. Let me catch up on chat here. You guys are talky, talky, talky. Is this that game that uses the metal scanner thing? I remember Diz playing it. Metal, oh, like the two rods. Yeah, he tried playing it, but he didn't have a good time with it. It really looked complex as shit. Um, the first time I did this, it... Fuck. Uh, the first time I did this, it was uh, definitely difficult to figure out. I just got it. Whew. Nope, fuck you. Yeah, laugh all you want. Um, okay, and the hour is the 10th. The 10th hour of the day. Fucking got it. Let's go. He does suck at it, but it was funny. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go change the candle. And then I will head on over to the compass room, we'll call it. I can't remember the actual name of it. But we'll head over here, and we will determine who was where. Because we already know 
it was at four piner street is where everything went down so i need to jump it so this is november 20th 1904 november 20th 1904 i think it was the 10 o'clock hour yep so what we do is we all right we already have samson on here so I pull this out. We figure out exactly where he was at the exact time. He was at 4 Piner Street, which is... So it wasn't Samson. He was there at the time, and the shot did not come from inside the building. I feel my heart rate tick up with the mirrors. Oh, yeah, it's... <laughs> so Samson is innocent, by what I can tell. So then we'll take him off. We'll put Patrick Whitney on. Where were you, Patrick? Uh-oh. He was on seven. George, where were you? You are on ninth. So it's between Patrick and George. Let's go through and remind ourselves here. Ah! Oh boy, here he is. What's up, Mr. Fathom? Welcome in. So, we have the tarot reading. Oh, we can still do the dice. That may give us the one last clue to further mark this down. That's probably what I need to do. Let me go ahead and uh, reset the candle. Just get maximum time. Otherwise, the rituals won't work. And why we have to plant that all the way down there, I don't know. What the fuck was that? Yeah, the runes, that's what they are. Okay. Suspect us here. Okay, so we're going to put Pat... Patrick. So candles lit, the runes on the table from the bowl. Wait, what? Throw the runes on the table from the bowl. Those are the line of the side. I have to put them back in. Yeah. Now, anything with a sign up, back in. Throw the table, throw the runes from the bowl. That didn't work. Shit. I wish I could run faster. I also took the long way like a moron. Uh, okay. Actually going to sleep saying, hey, I'm dead time. Maybe watch you play tomorrow. Yeah, man, for sure. I will catch you on the flip side. Thanks for dropping in and at least saying hi. Um, we'll definitely have to chill soon, too. All right. I don't... broken glass just made me jump and that hurt so much <laughs> oh, thanks I don't know how to oh do I just have to um because that puts them all back in Oh, I see. Okay. So, put this in the line with the sign up back in the bowl. In the bowl. In the bowl. This is a D looking thing. Para I think that's Parasis. Parasis. Giant new post. The target has lost or found a new job. Alright, so. 
that's big. So, well, let's just Patrick Whitney, though. We know he got a new job. Probably not Friday a month ago, but the Target has lost or found a new job. I mean, we know that. That's not very helpful. We should do George just in case. Yo, it's the shoes. What's up, my dude? How you doing? How are we this evening? Oh, that's an F-looking thing. And sus. God, a crisis or a finding of a new faith. Okay. Still not very helpful. <laughs> Shit. So, we know it's not Samson because he was at that place. He was at the police station. He could have made the shot. We know that the murderer is at 29, is 29 years old or younger. Patrick is 24. George is 27. And Jordan is 56. So it wasn't Jordan. I'm doing good, man. I definitely threw my back out or something. So jump scares are super painful tonight. <laughs> um, we have a time of death. At said time of death, Patrick was at 7. George was at 9 Pinner Street, which is across the street from 4. It had to have been the layoffs. The layoffs have to be it. It has to be Patrick. I mean, but George is weird for sure. Cook is a recent hire, a strange fellow. A few days ago, he asked me about you, although I don't remember that I'd mentioned you in our talks. Crisis or finding of a new faith. Some kind of do runes on two, I think. Well, I already did the two. I did, Jordan and Samson aren't going to give me anything worthwhile. And Brooks isn't a suspect. He's dead. I just can't... I can't limit it to... <sighs> Patrick seems most realistic because the whole deal was that layoffs were last month patrick i thought he got fired a month ago targets lost or found a new job community challenge 75 percent complete yo thank you shoes appreciate you jumping in on that george looks like ryan gosling <laughs> i thought this is do runes in a dossier like a side quest it says send the killer's dossier. Marcus said where the killer was at the hour of the crime. He could have been near the target. Send the killer's distinctive feature by performing dousing on the victim, which we did, and that's the age. And send the relationship to the killer by performing tarot readings. And that's how it was a colleague. And both Patrick and George are colleagues. Like, George just got hired. Patrick, they thought he got fired a month ago. Claimed he was only sent on vacation. Last sentence in Patrick's dossier. Can you check it with runes? Yeah, I did. Target has lost or found a new job. So he must have lost his job. So it has to be Patrick. He's he's trying to cover it. I think that's it's them trying to say like, hey, this is the clue you need to, de to, to decipher. Because the thing is, is George is definitely weird. No, no, no. Don't be sorry. Um... I'm going to go with Patrick and just, and if it's not, we know it's George. I think it's the best thing we can do. The staircase. Okay. Killer's dossier. We're sending Patrick. Mark and where the killer was at the hour of the crime. He was not at 4 Penner Street. Send the killer's distinctive feature by performing doubts on the victim. We know that the murderer is 29 years old or younger, and Patrick is 26, I think they said, um, or 24. Send the killer's killer by performing tarot reading. Uh, the killer is a colleague, or at least was. Let's do it. Son of a bitch. It was George. <clears throat> a bunch of my colleagues are furious. <laughs> All right, we'll try it again. All 
All right. Well, we have to go through and do everything again because I have to get the informa information. Let's do the wheel first. Get that over with, huh? All right. Brooks. He's a Gemini. Um, their letter O seven red goes to seven and five, one, two, three, four, five is an I. It's a one blue goes to one. Yep. That should be 10th hour. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Now I can go back. I'm going to reset. Odd noises. All right. So now we can do boom. Oh, we haven't put the date on yet. 112004 112004 10th hour you my friend were yep you were there we know that that means you I guess we'll figure out where Jordan was Jordan was somewhere oh he's, was he also there oh he was in a neighboring building but he's also not old enough. he's too old so that way it's going to drop them out anyways. You were here. And George was there. Great. Red 7. Red 7. Okay. I put the victim here, and this was upstairs, if I recall. Yeah, it was the bed, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the bed. Okay. <laughs> Sassafras is here. Yo, what's up? Welcome in. Um, we're just playing, um, Prognostic, a uh, new update came out a few weeks ago and I really wanted to get to play it. So here we are. So we know you're innocent cause you weren't, you were actually there, but the shooting came from across the street. You're too old to be him. Um, I've done, I didn't do tarot reading. Okay. I need to go get the tarot reading. I don't have to do the runes again. We do have to go do that. Um, ooh, to timing is everything. Um, we have to do the tarot readings uh, because it's an objective. The runes we can do, but it's not going to be helpful at this point. You know, I'm convinced at this point that nothing's going to happen. Like, I've never seen any motion or walking around during this at all. Like, I feel this is a waste of time. Like, everything's all covered up. See? I think it's just a scare tactic. Try to make you stop. Alright, cool. So we put the victim over here. Uh, having a great night so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I definitely hurt my back today, though, so jump scares have been extra hurtful. Justice, that's the card we want. Next card will be the Chariot, which is number seven. Yep, the Killer's a Colleague. There we go, we've got it. All right, we got George now. Let's go book him. And if it's not George, then the game's broken. So, all right, so we know it's George. Uh, Marcus where the killer was at the hour of the crime. He was at the 9th Pinner Street. 
the dowsing we determined he's 29 years old or younger and the killer's a colleague send so that has to be it they get you when you least expect it <laughs> it's true he find a makeshift altar in his house two photographs on it our photos Cook didn't want to kill our captain. He aimed at me. Yeah, that's right. Because we have done this one before. I think it's making us replay it. My colleague, a policeman, tried to kill me, and you should be next. I don't know what is threatening this town, but now it's gunning for us. I, I need a drink. Now, do we have to relive this fucking nightmare? God damn it. Yep, yeah, I'm pretty sure I have to relive it. Yep, everything's boarded up, so you have to go down to the basement. What the fuck? Maybe I don't remember this? Oh, do I just see... Oh, no, I come around the corner and I see her. That's right. Yeah, because she's pointing. Yep, and there she goes. That's right. We go, wee splat. Then we come to the surface. And we start walking towards the altar. Where's the splish splash? Here we go. So if you guys haven't seen this before, this is fun. still got me oh. and that's where the game ends well technically it was here um what if there is an altar beast there so okay so this is where it now picks up day 12 the runaway okay now we're finally on schedule <clears throat> look at unknown unknown Sam Elliott, mm. George Cook again, Patrick Whitney again. Oh boy. Are you okay to see a body at one's own doorstep? It must be shocking. We're trying to establish dead girls' identity, but so far unsuccessfully. I'll tell you right away your alibi was confirmed during the clear. Wait, someone died on our doorstep? This cook that we arrested escaped yesterday. I'm sure that it was he or his accomplice, the one who helped him escape. They wanted to intimidate you, but they didn't know yet that we will not stop. You must find them before they get to us. The escape took place at 1400 at the stables at 17 Pinner Street. The prison escort was killed by Cook's accomplice. The girl whose body lay at her doorstep was killed on the same day at 2300. Let's find those bastards. Send where, send where escapes George Cook is now. Send the dodge to the killer who helped Cook escape. Send the dousing traits and the second second dousing trait because one of each, yeah. And send Elliot's tarot reading result. Whew. Okay. Do they not, are they not giving us the day? Oh, they did. All right, cool. So let's see. Sam Elliot, the stranger was sent to escort Cook to a more secure prison. This is a quick job, but someone ambushed him at the stables. He got shotted in the back. Mr. Elliot bled to death before somebody could help him. We found this girl's body at your doorstep. If you hadn't been with me all day yesterday, you'd be on the list of suspects. Last week, she was seen among the homeless on the outskirts of the town, but so far, I've not been able to find out her name. Hewton is a fugitive which was arrested by Ranger Elliot a couple years ago. Now Hewton was arrested by us. We found him at the scene of the crime with a revolver in his hands. Hammond does not deny that he was going to get revenge on the Ranger, but claims that someone got to Elliot before him. Danielle is Elliot's ex-girlfriend the first thing the Ranger did when he arrived into town was to meet her. Danielle said that she went to the st stable only to say, to say hit, oh, to probably tell him goodbye. Patrick Owen, this vagabond was detained next to your house near the girl's body. We didn't get much from him. Only some incoherent phrases about figures in the night. Ben Roberts, Roberts, a musician who recently settled down in our town. He was seen at the stable during the time of the murder. He says he went there to leave our town, but Cook might as well have bribed him to get out. I proposed to transfer Cook to another prison because I was afraid that his had some accomplices in the town. It's a pity we didn't manage to do it in time. Now we must find him. 
He found out that Patrick was indeed fired last month, but he continues to come to work and make scandals. He also showed up at the scene of the Rangers' murders if he wanted to investigate it himself. It seems that he is starting to have problems with the perception of reality. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So. We'll do all the, um, the mapping of stuff first. Who was where at, well, where George Cook is now. Then we'll check, um, we'll figure out where Sam and Unknown were killed. And we'll figure out where everyone else was during those two times. Then we'll do both dowsings and then we'll do one tarot and we'll see where we are at that point. If we need to do a tarot card on unknown, we'll do that. And then we'll also have the runes if we need to do that as well. But we don't have to do the wheel. We have all the times we need. I, I, I hope. Okay. To the map room. Or compass room, whatever you want to fucking call it. It's a compass. Okay, first off, where's George Cook right now? At 20th hour, 5th of December. I guess that's the same year. <laughs> 20th hour, 5th of December. Why is that circled? Interesting. I thought I heard something. Okay, so we have that. Now we're going to figure out where Sam was when he died. After a nice seeing you. Oh, hey, appreciate you coming by, man. Thanks for hanging out. Um, hope, all, hope all is well with you. And uh, I'm sure I'll catch one of your streams soon, too. Oh, excuse me. But uh, have a lovely night, man. I'll talk to you soon. Um... So 14, 14th hour. Oh, we have it all right there, Dur. So December 12th. There it one on December 5th. But yet he died. Oh, he died in the fourth. Whoops. I know I took the long way there. 14th hour, 12th month, fourth day. Seventeen pinner, yep. That tracks. Let's figure out where she is. Twenty third. Um, actually, no. Let's figure out where everyone else was first before we go and do that. Oh my dude, you were there. So were you. So were you. The band was across the street. George? Of course you were there. You had to have been there. Patrick, where were you? You were also there. My word. Alright. December 4th, 1904. Oh, what was the hour? 23rd. Where were you? Eighteen lower. Alright, 
right, well, you weren't at that same spot. Danielle, you were not at the same spot. Patrick, you're probably still over here. Nope. Well, you were at 18. I don't like the breathing. That scared the fuck out of me. Go change the candle out. Whew. All right, let's get back to it. Okay. Do we figure out where you were? No, we haven't. Okay. Thirteen Glower. George, you had to have been here. Eighteen, yep. And where was Patrick? Also at eighteen. So that tells us. Let's see. So that's fine. So you you were there on the seventeen Pinner Street. So was Evan, so was Danielle, so was Patrick. Ben wasn't there, George was, Patrick was there. So if Ben wasn't there, to, then that means he didn't kill Sam. So we, I, I think... My cook's accomplice. Yep, at 17 pinners, so it can't be Ben Roberts, he wasn't there. So he's innocent for now. Now, how about unknown? 18 Glower Street. The only people there 18 Glower were Patrick, both Patrick's and George. So I think that eliminates Danielle and Evan as well. So we're down. So obviously we know George is involved, but who's the other person? It's one of the Patricks. <clears throat> this is good information so far. Yeah, both Patricks were both at the locations with George at the time of the death of said person. Now to do dousing. Damn it. Does it always have to be so rainy? All right, Sam. Is it the bed again? What the fuck? the fuck is going on oh he will give us eternity all right specifically is the black clothing oh fuck Black clothing. Call the clothes to tell you the color of the hair. Okay. So we know that the killer had black hair. Patrick definitely has black hair. What is what is oh well, Patrick Whitney? Does Patrick Owen have gray? No hair color is black, so that doesn't help. Alright. Let's check her now. I hate when it doesn't want to work. I 
The chalice lies underground. Uh, black toy red eyes. Oh, shit, that scared the fuck out of me. Why would that... Yo, bro, uh, thanks for the host, man. What we need. How did that damage me? Because it let you out on fire! Why wouldn't it explode when it gets hit? Like Aggressive. Welcome in, bud. What are you guys playing? How you doing? See, so there has to be a toy. Toy. The color of the toy shows the color of the murderer's eyes. Black. Patrick Owen has blue eyes. Patrick Whitney has... I can't tell. Give me a second. It broke. Black eyes. Patrick Owen is innocent. Patrick Whitney is a murderer. Did Avengers then Fortnite? Nice. Any any uh any wins in Fortnite? Should Dow say we need to go do Elliot's tarot reading? First, I got to reset the candle. That's okay. So, tarot reading for Elliot. Tarot reading for Elliot. That's upstairs. Tarot reading for Elliot. So we got Elliot. Shake, 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 Shinora. What's this? He is locked away beyond the edge of nothingness. Our savior is waiting. The devil. <gasps> Dude. Have a lovely evening, Fry. Thank you so much for coming in. <laughs> Two double cards in a row. That was on purpose. Yo, they stepped this game up for sure. Holy shit. Can I continue? Let me put those back in. <laughs> Fuck. King of Mirrors? Jesus. Someone's gotten into this house now. All the candles are out. I just realized that. Thank God. Hierophant. I need justice, damn it. The moon. There's justice. Next card is what matters. Can we stop doing that? My God. The Emperor. Emperor, the Emperor, the Emperor, the Emperor, the Emperor. The killer is a man. Well, that doesn't really help. I mean, it does, but... But, I mean, we knew that. It was between both Patricks. Danielle wasn't involved. Baby Blue, welcome in. Sorry, I just noticed uh, you just said hello. Um, <laughs> this game has me uh, really roped in, and I definitely threw my back out or something, so I've been kind of concentrating on not, like bending the right way <laughs> um, so welcome in we're just playing some uh, prognostic uh, new update came out so I've been picking up where we left off um, what brings you by today uh, how did you find us uh, otherwise uh, welcome to the jug mob we're happy to have you feel free to smash that follow button by the way so you know when we're uh, we're here playing these wacky wacky games okay I think we have enough to, uh...
This is my welcoming gift. Okay. That sounds great. Uh, so Dossier of the Killer Who Helped Cook Escapes. We need Patrick Whitney. We need to send where George is now. 25th of December. He's at Barnhill Street 18. So, uh, so the dousing trait, both dousing traits. So we know the killer has black hair, black eyes. And Elliot's tarot card reading, killer is a man. Send. Achievement unlocked, new visitor. That's not good. I was watching G Ripple Guy, he got sent here. Oh, of course. Well, then welcome in. Rope is a good pal of mine. Met him through, um, most honestly, it's funny enough, so he, he plays everything but horror, but I think I found him through the horror streamer community here, so that we have <laughs> between me, Bud Cheek, and, and Diz. <clears throat> but I feel like he probably knows Demon more than anybody. That's just my guess. Um, I'm sorry, but your brother can't answer you anymore. I've already visited him. But don't get upset. I can be your new friend. You found us both. I'm impressed. You are truly the one who can hear the departed. You have a lot to learn to do, but first I'm prepared to give for you new case. Now please close your eyes. Oh God. Oh. We hit with a lead pipe. I got time for this last day, I think. Shit. I think I need to cover this. Forgive me my sin. Oh, shit. Fuck. I don't like this. He forced me. Ooh, Jesus fucking Christ almighty. Oh, she's already there staring at me. We've been tainted by his thoughts. Oh, yep, it's him. It's exactly what I thought it was going to be. Please. Please fucking what? God, this is terrible. Don't bring us back. I won't bring you back. It's fine. I'm assuming that means my brother's dead. Don't let him in. I let him in. I don't know. Did I? Ooh. Okay, no. I guess not. At least not yet. <laughs> he is coming. Oh, shit. Ooh! Day 13, first death. <sighs> Jesus. <sighs> Here is my gift. I've prepared a new case for you. A young family, an immigrant, his wife, and two sons. One night, a murderer sneaks to their house and leaves their sons without parents. Familiar? The moment that changed your life. So who is to blame? Find out who killed your parents. Find the clue by using the tarot cards. Find a clue by contacting your mother with the dousing rods. Find a clue by contacting your father with the dousing rods. Mark and send where the killer was at the hour of the crime. Jesus Christ. Oh shit. 
Was it Brooks? Was it the Was it the captain? He's an officer at the time. He found two boys locked in the apartment with their dead parents when your brother decided to join the police. Brooks took him under his wing, worked to the grandmother in the past, and he knew that you would be capable of. He used, he used you just like everyone else. Bruno Richards. He dabbed in petty theft in the neighboring streets. He was detained by a young policeman named Davon, the future chief of police. Whom you helped out so much. Richards was arrested based on suspicion of killing your parents. The next year he was executed. Mrs. Fulton was your neighbor and even looked after you from time to time. She listened to your stories about weird dreams and Im imaginary friends. It was you who introduced her to the voice of God. Thirteen years later, Annabelle Fulton sacrificed her own grandson as a gift to the voice. The king of mirrors asked and she answered voluntarily. But was her grandson the first victim? Joan Randolph, your grandmother, what a kind, selfless person. She sheltered you, raised you, gave you a purpose. She always had big plans for you, but how early did she start bringing them to life? Oh, God. Your older brother, James, what was he like as a child? The same arrogant, sarcastic asshole? I couldn't find your portrait. Couldn't even get your name out of your brother. Until recently, I doubt that you even existed. It's nice to see you in person. Oof. Robert Anderson, he worked all of his life to provide for his family's future. Like many people, he did not notice the threads of the higher purpose behind the routine. I spoke to him, thanks to the king. And you know what? Even he heard your whispers at night. It makes me wonder if he ever regretted marrying your mother. Ruby Anderson, why didn't she talk to her mother? Why didn't she tell you about your grandma? I don't know, but our king allowed me to speak with her. She told me how she asked you to not to tell anyone about the voices. Do you want to talk to her once more? God. Yeah, it's okay, now I'm going to bed. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is going to be an interesting one, that's for sure. Alright, so tarot cards first, I guess? It says find the clue, but I'm assuming I have to do tarot cards for both of them, which would be helpful. Uh, it might be the same thing, but still. Find a clue by contacting your mother with the dowsing so, so I do tarots, dowsing rods. And then we don't have hours, do we? No. Of course fucking not. The hour of the crime, which we don't have. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. Let me just make sure I haven't got anything new on the work side of things really quick. Oh, cool. Nothing new, which is good. No news is good news. All right, we'll do the tarot cards first. Why must the doors open inward? Okay. First, we'll do Ruby, my mother. Oh, justice. First shot. Let's go. The Fool. The cards are silent. The bond is unknown. Okay. All right. So nothing I could do there. So I can only get Robert. Justice. The Empress. The killer is a woman. Well, that leads us to the neighbor <laughs> or our grandmother. So we know it's not Bruno because he's a guy. We know it's not Brooks because he's a guy. And it wasn't my brother. Age, negative one. I like it. And it can't be me because I'm also male so yeah either joan or annabelle huh okay next we can do dousing rods could we not cry in my ear please fuck that was scary like way too scary okay A 
upstairs. Notice the clock. Okay, cool. But what does that mean? I don't even know if the clock is on here. Clocks. Murder is 30 years old. Are 30 years or older? All right, let's get Robert on here. Where's our next clue? Oh my. Green dinosaur. Okay, good enough. So green toy. Shit. Upstairs. Can I make it? I made it. I heard something growling at me that was terrifying. So, again, it was green dinosaur. Let's get back in here. And we need to determine color is the murderer's eyes. And good, that fucking light's going out. So I can go and fix that. So, killer has green eyes. Grandmother has green eyes. Neighbor has green eyes. So, not helpful there, but we need to get it regardless. So, we've got the tarot card clue that's a woman. We've got the dousing rod that's 30 years older, older, and green eyes. And both of them are older, 60 and 62. Uh, excuse me. Mark is in where the killer was at the hour of the crime. Mm. So now, <clears throat> now I need to go and use the wheel to get the hour of both of their deaths, Ruby and Robert, mom and dad. <sighs> okay, Ruby, June 6th. June 6th is Gemini. Third letter is a B. It's a 2. Red goes to 2. 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is an R. R is a 2. Wow, everything's stacked up on 2s. Interesting. So that should be 1st of December. Yep. So 1891. And we've got 1st of December. 1st of December at 11 p.m. So that's 23rd hour. Got it. Next up is Dad. Date of birth. I guess they died on the same day, huh? Yeah, it was the same day, same time. That's what we're getting at. Okay, that's fair. So you have to do it twice. Twice. 
fucker. I hate when they slam the door on me like that. It's very rude. Alright. Fresh candle slash incense. Let's go to the compass. And we'll mark this shit. So, Ruby. 23rd hour. The 12th month of the year. Whoops. Ooh. <laughs> nice try. Uh, it was the first day in 1891. Old home, naturally. And where was Joan? Same day. Well, of course, my grandmother, she probably lived there. Annabelle? Was outside. Robert, where were you? The old home. Joan, where were you? Old home. Annabelle, where were you? You were outside. Oh, boy. So Annabelle was outside during everything. She's innocent. My grandmother killed uh, killed my family. And then she later died. My assumption is that that, uh, but basically what we just saw, we know she, she definitely killed the, um, the parents because whatever this king person is uh, demanded it so Joan killed him Tara Carson it's a woman uh, dowsing rods 30, 30 years older older yep Joan 60 killers green eyes yep um, and then yeah she was at old home at the same time and hour as Robert and Ruby's death whereas Annabelle was outside so that's it. I don't think we need to even do it. <gasps> God damn it. Oh. <sighs> Jesus Christ. All right, there's Joan. Uh, so tarot card, the killer is a woman. Dowsing rod of mother, dowsing rod of father. Boom. Send. Dig up the past cheap and unlocked. Now you know all of it. We didn't destroy your family. She did it. Your grandmother couldn't find the strength to go against him. She needed a successor. One who is connected with death since childhood, but is able to act on his own. She has been implicating you since you were a kid, but we are not like that. The king gives a choice. It's not an order, but an opportunity to bring your family back. Do you want that? Then go downstairs. I don't want to bring my family back. I definitely don't. But you're going to make me, aren't you? Oh, no other choice here, huh? All the doors are locked. Stuff's closed up. Gives you a chance. Well, what the fuck is down here? You will no longer be alone. I don't have my lighter on me. Let your family in. I don't want to. How far fucking down does this go? Smash the mirrors. Oh, boy. 
boy. Fucking blood air. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Drowning. Drowning my brother. Drowning my mother. Drowning my grandmother. I'm sorry. I can't bring you back. My dream said no. Don't get mad at me. Oh, shit. Here he is. Right through the mirror. Did my grandmother pull him back in or something? What's that at the edge of the... Oh, it's a door. Maybe we should run to the door. Please. Achieve an unlocked solitude. And that's it. Wow. I liked the choice at the end. I, I, I'm curious. I wonder what happens afterwards. Like if you, um, if you try to save them. But, um, so for those that weren't in the know, um, the developers were afraid that they weren't going to be able to re uh, finish this game out because of them being in Russia and basically all the banks just shutting the door on everyone in Russia because of what's been going on. Um, so we weren't too sure if they were able to finish the game, but they were secretly finishing it. And that was the ending we got, which is cool. Like it's, I, I kind of expected that to be the ending. Um, uh, although I didn't realize there was like a cult behind it all. But I figured that weird skin face guy had something to do with it. But yeah, so that's, that's prognostic. 13 days plus the epilogue. So... I wonder if I could really quickly, will this make it so I start right there? Yeah, okay. So I want to do the opposite. I want to see if I can, um, I want to see if I can actually um, bring them back and what that does. Because I have a feeling if I bring them back he comes back too and we all die anyways that's my assumption because you're basically opening up you're opening up that uh that portal for lack of a better term is this where i fall i think it's where i fall right here yep okay all right and this is where we wait for the mirrors to pop up. Yep. Let your father out. Let your brother out. Let mom out. Let Nana out. And here's the other one, which I can't have any control over. And it's just to open up the passage. Yep. And here he approaches. Comes through. Achievement unlocked behind the mirror. So he sucks us into the mirror with him. <laughs> nice. 
And I wonder if there's other... No, that's it. That's all the... So there's... Even if you... Uh, I bet you even if you let one person out, it does that for the uh, the ending. Okay, cool. So I've got all the achievements. We've done both endings. Um, I'm very happy that they were able to finish this game. And I enjoyed playing it. Um, I think if anyone hasn't played this yet, they should. Uh, it's definitely a horror game, but it's it's mostly like puzzles and detective work. Like, to, you know, just having to deduct and or deduce rather different things. It's nice. It's very nice. So I enjoy it. Um, I am hoping that uh, oh, I forgot to change my scene. Oh, whoopsie. Um, so I'm hoping they do more work on other games because uh, I thought that game was fantastic and that development team did a great job with it regardless, like, even with what was being done before. Um, before the uh, the war started and everything, like what they were able to put out and then they were able to wrap it up afterwards and like, you know, I, I think they're able to put together some really fun games and I think they can continue doing that and I would definitely continue to keep playing their games if they were to do so. But um, I don't know. It's going to be weird for sure with everything in the world. But I mean, we'll see what happens. Um, as for us, uh, I was thinking about doing a Vampire Survivor run. But honestly, I'm just kind of tired. And I am on call. Uh, so I'd rather just call it a win tonight. So tomorrow we either start uh, Ikai, Silver Chains, or Within Scary. Looking forward to all those. With and Scary is actually the same person that did Sweet 776 and Inside Depth 6, which both of them were terrifying. Um, Silver Chains, I've heard very good things about. I need to check to see who the developer is for that. And Ikai, I've watched a little bit of gameplay of and it looks terrifying. Um, so I'm looking forward to all of that. <laughs> I love that emote. Um, so I think we're going to get out of here. Um, the question is, is who we're going to go raid? We've got Demon, we've got Menti, we got Wheeler, Codename Power, Heavy Hand Swings. we got Fishboat, we got tons of people on. Tell you what, we'll send you guys over to, uh... They're going to send you guys over to Heavy, because Heavy is, Heavy's my boy. Ah! I thought I had that site muted, I guess not. Anywho... Yeah. Oh, thank you, Sass Fresh. You as well. I appreciate you coming by as always and hanging out. And um, hopefully, I'll catch one of your streams soon. Uh, I try to drop in as often as I can, um, but uh, it, it's weird. Like working from home, I can just I sit here and I just work right there. And I'm like, I'll go ahead and just doop, hit the lurk button. That seems to be helpful. But she come in here. Him way too late. Way too late. Five hundred biddies. Do you too much? Thank you. I don't know why it says thank you, Dolly, because it was definitely butt cheek. <laughs> God damn bots. All right, but yeah. Hello there. Oh look, Magers here too. Hey Magers, welcome in. So you guys caught the end of it. I just actually beat Prognostic, um, and got both of the endings done. Uh, they put out the new update and it was awesome. Yeah, I made it back. Hardly, but I'm back. Um, so we were going to go and send the raid over to Heavy Hand Swings. What the fuck is he even playing right now anyways? Oh, Valorant, of course. What do I ask these things? I, I already know the answer. <laughs> so, um, gonna, like I said... And send you all over to Heavy Hand Swings. If you haven't hit this guy with the follow yet, now is the time. He's one of my very good streamer friends um, that I met through Wheeler Dealer, and uh, it's 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 uh, I I can't say enough good things about the guy. Super wholesome, funny as fuck, and he listens to really obnoxious music like I do. So it's a win-win. Um, but that's gonna do it for me. I'm gonna get out of here and chill out, and. Uh, 
beating the shit out of his ball bag. Yes, beating the shit out of his ball bag, correct. Yo, one speed. Thanks for dropping by and saying hey. Uh, it was a great stream. I beat Prognostic, finally. Um, we had the last uh, recent update. Well, the last update came out, so we got to beat it. And it was fun. It was worth it. If you haven't played Prognostic, definitely do it, man. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it. Let's head over to Heavy Hand Swings. Have a good night. See ya.